First of all, the backdrop. To many outsiders, it does look increasingly like a self-destructing shambles for your party yet again. <clears throat> well, honestly, it's a pleasure to be on. Uh, it, it has been a shambles, there's no doubt about it. It's not the kind of way we'd like to govern, but that's why we need to move on from this chaos and crisis, and we need some calm competence, and that's exactly why I'm back in Rishi Sunak. Uh, he brings that approach to everything he does, not least when he was Chancellor of the Exchequer, <clears throat> dealing with some major crises in terms of the pandemic and the cost of living crisis, and most people recognise he did a fantastic job doing that, and that's that's what he'd do again. He understands the economy better than anybody else in Parliament. And most of our challenges right now are economic ones. That's why he's the perfect person for the job. Talking to colleagues, do you sense that it is possible that he will clinch half of 375 before the close of play today and that there won't need to be a contest? Well, that's not quite how it works, because even if he gets half the political party, our parliamentary party, he could still go to, to members. Um, but, I do th but I think he can get half, and uh, I think he has till 2 o'clock tomorrow anyway to do that. And, um, of course, and I think in, if that was the case, I'm really not sure that Boris Johnson would want to contest the leadership or become prime minister when over half his parliamentary party supported a different candidate. I think that'd be very difficult for him to do that. And he's facing some other very significant challenges as well, as well of course, not least the Privileges Committee investigation into, into whether he misled Parliament, which will require him to give evidence, to oral evidence to a committee, and lots of other people will be too, and that's bound to be difficult for him and, uh, and for the government. So I think for all those reasons, for that stability and for the, uh, we need Rishi Sunak, I say, would bring that calm competence to government.